Now before we begin this exercise, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the range. So locate the electrical panel and turn off the appropriate breaker or simply pull it far enough forward that you can unplug the range. Now next we'll remove the surface grates and carefully set those aside. Then we'll remove the individual burner caps. Simply lift those off. Now with the burner caps removed, next we'll need to remove each of the individual burners. Some may be fastened to the main top with screws and others may simply lift off. Now with the burners removed from the main top, we can inspect the burner base or support. And on some models you'll see that they are attached to the main top as well. On those models you will need to remove the screws that secure the support to the main top and then we'll prepare to lift the top up away from the range. Now our next step will be to remove all of the burner control knobs. And typically those will just pull right off of the valve stem. Now our next step will be to remove the control panel fascia. It's typically held in place with one or two screws located below. So we'll open the door up so that we can access those screws determine which ones need to be removed, and then take them off. And then simply lift that off and set it aside. Now that we have the fascia removed, we then expose screws that hold the main top to the frame of the oven, and we'll need to remove those as well. So with those screws removed, next we'll need to slide that top just slightly forward, but you may have to push the burner base down through the opening to allow that top to slide forward. Now with the main top and our fascia removed, we now have access to all of the components that are involved in the spark ignition for the surface burners. Need help with anything else around your home? Search our channel for thousands of helpful videos that will walk you through your home repairs. For more information or the parts needed for these repairs, don't forget to check out PartSelect.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.